I'd like to share what the Lord has put in my heart with regards to what happened happening to the Dulos for Christ for the last 25 years and of course the years to come. It rings to my heart and in my mind what should be done after 25 years. I've been a pastor for the last 25 years of the same church from a small beginning until the Lord uh, allowed this church to grow like this. But still I feel that we are just on the verge of beginning and the best is yet to come. Do you believe that? One day, Bishop Oriel, as you know, is also a musician. One day, there was a guy by the name of Paul Gilbert come up to the Philippines. If you know Paul Gilbert, he is one of the best guitarists who play a heavy metal band and he plays good guitar. Ang bilis ng kamay, grabe. Even though I'm a pastor, I was able to visit that uh, guitar clinic. Very few people can come on that meeting. Probably, if I still remember, about 50 of us were only allowed to look and watch this man. Ang galing magitara. 50 of us was there and watching him how he play his guitar. And then suddenly, this man, while he played that music, of course, the music was familiar with us, and we saw how he played, that, you know, skillfully, with past licks, you know, grabe and bilis. Until, as he was playing, he looked at the people who watched him, and then suddenly, lumapit siya, he come across, and then... Suddenly, he called someone, a very young man, and then while he was playing, he, he gave this guitar to him. And then when he got that guitar, this, this apparently unassuming young man get that guitar, and then he began to play that guitar the way he played that guitar. Then suddenly, Paul Gilbert get another guitar, and then he plays guitar, he just copied the way how he do it. And he keep on copying, copying, until Paul Gilbert, one of the greatest guitarists of all time, find it hard to, you know, to let him, because he keep on copying. One Filipino guy, unknown, but he was able to become part of that, you know, music story. When I still remember that story, nakita ko, si Lord parang may gustong gawing malaking malaking sa bansa, sa mundong ito na para mang he was inviting someone from that seat and tell him, why not become part of the story? This man, Paul Gilbert, is playing his story and then inviting someone to play with him and become part of the story. I still believe that the Lord is making a story. Amen? Amen. And every one of you today is invited to come up out of that seat and join the story. And what is the story? The story of God's global glory. Tawag ko dyan, 3G. God's global glory. Ang Dulos for Christ, the Dulos for Christ ministry, all of us experience transformation. We become born again believers. And all of us was come, was come to know in the knowledge of the Son, we become Christian. After that, we share the gospel to our family. And now, our own family become converted, become Christians. But it doesn't stop there. Some of us were able to share the gospel to your classmate, to your campus. Some of you were able to share your, the gospel to your, to your office mates in the marketplace or probably in the community, and then it's spread. You will notice that it's not yet God's global glory. The Dulos for Christ for the reverse 25 years has yet to fully grasp the truth that this church is blessed so that we could become a blessing. 
this church experienced tremendous blessing so that the mandate of being blessed to be a blessing will happen. I'd like to tell you, brother and sister, tonight, the whole family of Dulas for Christ will eventually be blessed by God. But it doesn't stop there. Because today, bago tayo umuwi, I want you to think about the word for God's greater glory. It should never stop from this church building, Dulas for Christ. We have to think that this great global, the, the God's global glory must happen. And I tell you, it's not yet happening because we have yet to involve. What will happen for the last 25 years? For the first 15 years, the church grew only for 200. But after 8 to 9 years, brother and sister, the church grew to 15,000 people. And yet, you see this church, how it influenced churches all over the Philippines. And now it's spreading to Korea, it's spreading to Hong Kong, Singapore, Thailand, in the United States and in Canada. Because you know why? The Dulles for Christ is birthed to give God's global glory. Amen? This is our vision. God's global glory. God's greater glory. I will not be happy to see this church grow by thousands, even a hundred thousand, because that's not the will of God. The will of God for us is to contribute on something for God's greater glory and for God's global glory. Ayoko lang po mag-glorify si Lord sa buhay ko. Ayoko lang po mag-glorify si Lord sa pamilya ko. Ayoko lang po mag-glorify si Lord sa eskwelahan ko. Ayoko lang po mag-glorify si Lord sa mga opisina ninyo. Gusto kong mag-glorify si Lord sa buong mundo. Because this is the will of God. Today, before we close this meeting, if I could challenge you, I plead before you, let's glorify God globally. Let's look at the vision wider and wider. It's not just your campus. It's not just your workplace. It's not just your family. It's not you. God said, I'll bless you so that you will become a blessing to all nations. Let me read this passage that God spoke to me. Look at these verses before I close. In First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 24. 16, 24 of First Chronicles. The Bible said, Declare His glory among the nation, His marvelous deeds among all peoples. Starting this 25th year's anniversary, mga kapatid, Dulas for Christ, I want you to get ready because the Dulas will declare His glory among the nations. It's not just in the Philippines. Dulas for Christ, get ready to become a blessing to the nation. It's not just me, your family, your campus, and the marketplace. I want to challenge you. Put your life into action for God's greater glory. For God's global glory. Declare His glory among the nation. His marvelous deeds among all the peoples. Psalm 17, 72, verse 17. Look at this. Psalms 72, verse 17. It says something here. May His name endures forever. May it continually as long as the sun. Then all nations will be blessed through Him. And they will call Him blessed. That's our prayer. That all nations will be blessed through Him. And then on verse 19, it says something here. Verse 19, And may the whole earth praise be to His glorious name forever. And may the whole earth be filled with His glory. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. How many among you believe that this is the time for us to prepare 
for God's greater glory. Amen? And for God's global glory. Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, naka-3G ka ba? Sabi mo sa kanan, naka-3G ka ba? Ano yung 3G natin dito? For God's greater glory and for God's global glory. Dulas for Christ will exist for another 25 years or 50 years for these two words, for the glory of God and for the global glory of our God. Hallelujah! And last, Psalms chapter 108, verse 5. This will be the final verse that I want to read. Psalms 108, verse 5. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. You know, when I'm reading this passage, the work is not yet finished. It is unfinished work. We have yet to contribute something. That's why God is telling His story on that Bible. And that story is about His, his, his story. And all of you who sit there is invited by God. Come, let's join the story. Do you believe that God is making His story? Are you part of it? This afternoon before we close, let's make a commitment. Lord, whatever story that you are trying to make here in this world, like saving this world, Lord, I want to become part of that story. Because when I become part of that story, Lord, it is for your greater glory. And God, May my life link to global glory, global ministry that could bring global impact because I believe God deserves a global glory. Amen. Would you work with us, my brother and sister? We are here this afternoon for God's glory and for God's global glory. Sana umuwi tayo. 3G na ako. Naka-3G na ako. Sino sa inyo naka-3G na ngayon? For God's greater glory and for God's global glory. Wala ko kayong may expect pa sa Dulas for Christ. For the next few years, the Lord has already set up this church will be used by God to bring greater glory to His name. And God will be using this church for God's global glory. Would you stand up with me right now? Hallelujah. Sino siya diyan magkukumit? Lord, let your glory be over all the earth. Amen. You still remember that song? How many of you remember that song? Be, be exalted Oh God. You still remember that song? Above the heaven, let your glory be over all the earth and be exalted, O oh God. Above the heaven. Let thy glory be, and let thy glory be, and let thy glory be over all the earth, and be. Above the heavens, and let thy glory be over all the earth. Come on, sing it with me. Be exalted, O oh God. 
shown your kindness to this church God for the last 25 years you have shown how your hands is always upon us Jesus burn something new in our heart this afternoon Lord let our heart burst into prayer God that our life is for your greater glory oh God for God's greater glory oh God Lord, the coming years for us as a church, God, may we have one prayer and one desire and that is for God's greater glory, O oh God. Lord, that today we make a commitment that our life will be connected for God's global glory, Lord. Today, Lord, we hear the invitation of the Holy Spirit. We stand on our feet, Lord God, because we are here part of the future actors of what God is doing on this world and you are the director God coming up with a storyline how to change this world until heavens will come here on earth today invite these people with the Holy Spirit allow us to play the role that you have given us Lord let us become part of your story of God Lord, we are not here to watch how your story taking place, God. We are not here, God, to watch you, what's going on. But we are here, Lord God, we believe you are calling us to become part of what you are doing, Lord. Today, I pray, Father, that you would continue to impart that vision for all these people here at Dulles for Christ. We know your heart, God, that may we be the eyes of Let's see the vision, Lord. That whatever you feel, oh God, we could see it. Because Jesus' heart is filled with His passion for world conquest. And we as your disciples, may we open the eyes and be able to see that the harvest is now ready, ripe and ready. Lord, today, I want to become part of this great drama the history making Lord out of this world today I pray for the church Lord use them empower them Lord and most of all guide and lead them Lord Lord teach us to love you more and more teach us to forget ourselves oh God and begin to believe that our life belongs to you today we humble ourselves before you. We offer a life to you as a church, Lord. On this 25th anniversary, we fully dedicated our lives to you. With one heart and with one voice, together, Lord, we look for God's greater glory, oh God. We look for God's global glory. Thank you, Father, and we honor you this day, Lord. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. God's greater glory. God's global glory will be the next story of Dulos for Christ. God's greater glory. God's global glory be the only thing that what makes Dulos for Christ busy for the coming year. Amen? It's not us, it's not me, it's not you. But again, it's for God's greater glory and for God's global glory. Marami pong salamat na sa akong kong ito dumalo po kayo. Ipagpapatuloy po natin yung ating mga buhay na pangitain 
Hindi lamang po sa ating mga sarili, sa ating mga pamilya, sa ating mga tahanan, paaralan, at kinagagalawan. Ang layunin pong ito ay tutuloy po natin hanggang sa muling pagbabalik ng ating Panginoon. Amen? Today, we pronounce and declare the coming years once more is for God's greater glory and for God's global glory. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, 3G na ako, 3G ka na rin. Amen. Hallelujah. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Magdiwang tayo ng ating huling awitan sa Panginoon bilang pasasalamat. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, I thank God because you are part of this celebration. Hallelujah. Palakpakan natin yung mga katabi natin. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.